All right, family. So it's International Fight Week. And as you know, around this time, they like to load these cards with bangers. And this is no different. Let's talk about the fact that McGregor and Michael Chandler won't be happening due to McGregor's little roid rate. Allegedly, I'm just I'm making jokes, but it's something funny going on in McGregor's camp and I can't ignore it. Forgive me. Um, let's just push that aside because that has nothing to do with what we're about to see. This thing is so low. I don't even know where to begin. Let's start with MVP versus Ian Gary, a striker's love fest. Like it's, it's going to be something that you never forget. And I firmly believe that Gary, Connor's boy fan, I think that Gary's going to hit the canvas with the back of his head tonight, and it's going to shock the world. I don't think that really anybody has Gary's number, but I think MVP is such a good striker. He's a, a magician. He is going to be elusive and disappear and reappear with elbows and, and back spins and, and stuff that, that Gary's just not used to someone doing to him. You see what I'm saying? Like he's used to watching people do this on highlight reels. He's not used to having this done to him. So I feel like MVP is going to take it easy. Um, and it's going to be early. Ortega and Lopez. Lopez, as we know, is real well-rounded and he's a beast. But T-City, I've been waiting just to see him do his thing again. So I don't care which way this goes. I got a bias. I just I want to see him fight again period, point blank. But it could go his way, being that he's healthy, no ankle freak injuries or nothing like that. It could go Ortega's way just in, in the name of, you know, being a, 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 a warrior. So let's go with Ortega on that one. Um, Anthony Smith, I feel like he has this second win, has this momentum now to where he has found himself. He's found his pocket. He's found his wheelhouse. And he is just unstoppable right now. I think he's going to go all the way to a title, honestly. Main event, Alex and Yuri. Mm, it's tough. Yuri was touching Alex on the last fight, but Alex was also weakening him with the leg kicks. Uh, this is a tough one, but I'm going to go with Yuri. I feel like Yuri is one of those guys who can psych himself into this this place to where he's unstoppable and I, I think that he's been doing that up until this point only Alex just caught him being lazy sluggish he said that he was out of shape he was disappointed in his own uh, um, abilities in that last fight but I feel like he had Alex against the fence and, and almost defenseless until he got a little sluggish on him and literally fell into Alex's uppercuts and, and, and whatever else he did to him. Alex just took him out. Alex has hands of steel, as we know, or hands of stone, and you do not show your chin to him at all. You just, you don't let that happen. But yeah, that's what I got for you. Um, and, and you know what? I am biased. You know what I mean? Like even with uh, Gary, I'm very biased because I don't like guys that are just so full of themselves that you can't tell them nothing. You know what I mean? Like Let's be a little bit humble. You know what I mean? Let's let's be good sportsmen and understand that you're not you're not indestructible. You're a human being. You bleed just like everybody else. And tonight's going to be your night, Gary. BDL, Gary, just forgive me. And don't don't even pay attention to me. I'm just I'm talking my shit. Try to stoke it.